What's going on champs and champets, it's Monkey here, and let's be completely honest, one thing that has honestly been somewhat amazing, but also kind of not amazing in other ways, has been the LEGO vacation of Fortnite, and now I know what you might be thinking, but Fire Monkey, have you not heard what Allie and the other creators have said before? Some cosmetics can't return to the item shop because they don't have a LEGO form. And while yes, I understand that, there also is an amazing factor of this that I personally kind of just like, enjoy in a very selfish way, and that is getting Lego minifigures of so many characters, not just characters like, you know, Fortnite original characters like Lena Scorch or, you know, Lil Ambro or anything like that, or even Little Whip, but instead collaboration characters getting their own Lego forms as well, like Leonardo, you know, all the TMNT cosmetics, so if we go over here, you know, we have like Shredder, Super Shredder, we have Splinter, we have April O'Neil, we have all these characters actually getting Lego forms, even Avatar The Last Airbender, something that I've been a fan of since I was a wee little lad, seeing all these having updates modernized Lego forms in a video game I actually play is really, really sick, at least in my personal opinion. And even if we sort by season, right, we go to the most recent season, Metallica has Lego forms. Ariana Grande has a Lego form. We have Magneto with a Lego form. We have that Weapon X version of Wolverine with a Lego form. Jack Sparrow. And of course, some of these characters already existed in a Lego form in the real world, but some of these characters also didn't exist in the real world with the Lego form before. I mean, things like Billie Eilish, you know, having two different Lego forms and everything else, having that whole entire Inferno Skeleton J Balvin outfit, having all of these different collaborations and all these unique little designs here and there is something that I personally nerd out about. However, one thing that does suck is if we go down here, you can see 216 items are unsupported in Lego Fortnite. And the reason why they're unsupported is because they never actually got a Lego variant, most likely because they're a collaboration or something along those lines. And if we scroll all the way down here, you can see this, right? We have some Fortnite original outfits like Squad leader, which for some reason doesn't have a Lego form at all, but then we have some things that makes a little bit more sense, you know, like a John Wick collaboration, we have the original Nike collaboration, we have the Stranger Things Demogorgon, we have Chief Hopper, we have Major Laser, for example, Travis Scott, all these specific characters here and there that don't actually have Lego forms, and most likely could get Lego forms over time. I mean, just imagine Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty in a Lego form. It would be such an odd thing, but it would be very funny to actually end up seeing, but there are are a lot of characters from different collaborations across different, you know, franchises and everything else that aren't currently supported in LEGO mode. However, it doesn't mean that they're always going to be unsupported, because over time it appears that we've been getting leaks here and there regarding some characters actually getting updated. So on the screen right now you're seeing this image thanks to FNBR News Japan that actually posted this, which shows four upcoming LEGO outfits. Now something very interesting to mention here is of course we have a normal Fortnite skin right here, I'll even hide my webcam so you can see that right there. We have a normal Fortnite skin getting a Lego form very soon, but more importantly, we got three different collaboration outfits, one being Goku, the other being the Demogorgon, and then finally we also have Eleven from Stranger Things. I think it's very interesting to see how they're starting to get these Lego models and meshes actually prepared to release in the future, because not only does it mean that these cosmetics might be returning very soon, but it also means that we're going to be getting more characters from different franchises put into Lego Fortnite in the near future, and it potentially even end up releasing in the item shop once again. And the reason that I think it's super exciting to see something like Goku getting updated is because if we look at Dragon Ball, right, none of these cosmetics are updated for Fortnite's LEGO mode, right? We have, uh, you know, Vegeta, we have Goku, we have all these outfits and everything else here and there, even Goku Black and everything else, which have not released in LEGO Fortnite. That would be really sick to actually see get these own LEGO forms, but since Goku is getting one, it also makes me theorize that maybe we could be seeing a lot of anime characters actually getting updated in the future for LEGO Fortnite, and, you know, Dragon Ball is like the first push forwards. As you start off by updating characters like Goku, you know, you start off by updating like the Dragon Ball characters, because if one gets updated, then I'm pretty sure that confirms that all of the Dragon Ball characters could get updated and, you know, prepared for that mode, and then over time you start going over to the Naruto characters, you know, updating all of them, you go ahead over to like My Hero Academia, you update these characters to work in the LEGO Fortnite mode, and then you end up in this weird situation where because of LEGO Fortnite, even though we have a slow release over time for all these collaborations and stuff, we end up in a spot where some characters who may not ever have actually gotten a physical LEGO product in real life because of whatever reason, end up with their own LEGO form that you're able to see and potentially use for renders or something if you rip it from the Fortnite files, due to how Epic Games is actually kind of making this weird little shift and change 
change to the public sense of how these Lego characters are, right? Because, I mean, if you think about it, a year or two ago, I never would have thought we've had a Nick A30 Lego outfit, right? I never would have thought we would have, like, an Alley A Lego outfit or anything like that. But here we are to a point where I have 1,785 minus, you know, like, 216 or whatever else outfits that are supported in the Lego mode. And I think that is super, super sick to actually see because a lot of these characters might not ever get a Lego outfit in real life. Like, they might not ever get a Lego minifigure, right? But here we have a video game where it's possible even by breaking some of the limitations that exist with real life physical Legos. And it's one of my favorite things that kind of exist in Fortnite right now, at least is just not even really playing the Lego Fortnite mode, but seeing these characters get transformed and added with their own Lego Fortnite minifigures so that they have that unique little added flair aspect to them that you wouldn't normally have expected. I mean, like, look at this. You have some ridiculous stuff that is possible Possible, such as Nitro Jerry just kind of being a giant tube without you know a Lego minifigure head or anything attached to it of course not every outfit is updated it's going to take them a long time before they really get through updating absolutely everything but it is just a super sick thing and it's something that I personally nerd out about so hopefully you're someone like me who enjoys seeing things like upcoming collaborations getting added to Lego Fortnite in the future because it not only means it's going to be something that exists in the Fortnite space but it means that all these different brands and cultures and different genres and everything else can have their own little like mini niches or whatever else where they kind of showcase the Lego forms that have existed due to Fortnite in their own little art or whatever they might end up doing, right? Maybe I'm thinking about it too crazily or something like that and maybe I'm just yapping to yap at this point but at the same time, I do think it is really sick to see what they've made possible through Lego Fortnite existing and just kind of being a thing in general and hopefully we end up seeing all these old collaborations getting updated for that mode because if they're planning to update Stranger Things in Dragon Ball, then anything is really possible, right? Who knows how long it'll be till we get like a Robocop Lego in Fortnite, right? Or how long we get until Resident Evil in Fortnite in Lego Fortnite. There's just so much possibility just kind of sitting here and I can't wait to see what they end up doing. So you know what? Even if Lego Fortnite has caused some weird things to happen with the item shop, at the end of the day, I'm just happy that we get new Lego figures added every so often because it allows me to be a nerd about what characters I can make hit the Lego Fortnite gritty. However, until next time, Hope champs and champs enjoyed today's video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and peace out.